Split decisions, my friend. One, two, three, you've got to make the decision, right? That quick. Otherwise, it's like literally gone. And there's a few factors you've got to look at with these BS upfront fares. And by the way, why is Uber rolling this out in more cities now? Tested in a few cities now, expanding 20, 30 cities and more. It's because here is where they're making the, the most profit and have to give you the least amount of accountability, right? So you truly don't know what that rider is paying. The rider doesn't know uh, what, what you're getting out of this deal. And it is the sleaziest, meanest, abusive way to take advantage of a driver and move away from their sort of miles and minutes because it is designed not to give you time. It is designed to really put you on the spot, right? And this is where we have to outsmart Uber. Lyft doesn't do this yet, right? This is where we have to outsmart Uber. And this is where we as drivers have to really work together. And to those Mr. and Mrs. Desperates that just click and take every upfront fare, right? To you as well. Don't come crying back to me in one or two years when you've clocked up crazy miles and you really haven't moved forward in the game and you're starting to pay your big maintenance and your, your transmission issues just because you took every little deal out there and you thought that you're going to make money. What are we looking for? There's a few factors that we look at very quickly. What are they offering the dollar amount? Okay, I can see 1483. This is not a great example because this is not a typical upfront fare, but I rather want to give you a scenario where you can make quick decisions because it's easy to calculate 10 miles, right? So here I do quick math and this is just where you have these few seconds to make this decision. Design purposefully, design purposely so you don't really have time to think this through, but you've got to train yourself and get better and better and better at this. There's a super fast, uh, quick calculation, right? 14.83 divided by 10, $1.48 per mile. Okay, this is possibly something I can make money on. Why? Short trip to make that type of money? Yes. But the examples I showed you yesterday, for example, $68 for 97 miles. You do the math. You're not even coming close to a dollar, right? And it is very, very important to know your threshold. What am I worth? Where, where do I start? Okay, for example, I'm willing to work for a dollar per mile, right? Or I will not settle for a dollar fifty or less. You know your cost. You know your gas cost. You know your car. You pretty much know, you've worked it out, what you will accept and what you will not accept. But when you're looking at 50, 60, 70 cents per mile. That's not money. You're in the hole. You, you're creating a massive, massive deficit. So the initial quick, quick calculation has to be, what are you paying me? How far do I need to go? What does that equate to per mile, right? If you are okay with a dollar per mile, go for it, right? But the other factor that we need to look at, and this, again, this is why I use this example, because everybody will know the, for example, the AUS uh, International Airport, right? So you know it's a pretty safe place to go. But the way upfront fares are designed, where you see, you know, the pricing, uh, the, 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 the duration, the mileage, and the location, you got to know every single location in your city, right? Whether it's Chicago, whether it's Austin, whether it's Maryland, whether it's New York, whether it's LA, where do I feel safe? Now, where they make it ultra confusing is they're just gonna give you crossroads, right? Crossroads of Olympic and Pico. I don't even know if they cross, but I'm making that up, right? Uh, bad era, not going there, for example. Or, okay, Rodeo Drive and Wiltshire Boulevard. Oh, great address, money to be made, I'm gonna go there. Now, if you know the location is okay, okay, airport is fine, cool, Quick decision, next one, calculation, boom, go for it. The first thing you look at is the ratio of dollars to the miles if it pays to, li to little decline. And apparently they're not punishing you for this. But it's going to be Uber's downfall, right? Because I'm going to tell you what, 
They are temporarily making money. Listen to me. They are temporarily making a lot of money. Crazy margins on this until the drivers have again broken it down and figured everything out. Because you are going to go back to your geography map of your city. You're going to learn. You're going to look at the streets more closely. You're going to look at the locations more closely. Will do, will not do. And you're going to start making quick, quick decisions. And the first decision is made on a basic calculation. What are you paying me? How far do I need to go? Right now, what are they trying to do here? They're trying to do a bit of load balancing. Drivers are going towards the shorter trips. They're not going towards the longer trips anymore. So they're sort of balancing it out. They have their algorithms and maybe, you know, sweeten up the longer deals a little bit more. Definitely didn't sweeten up that Florida uh, trip yesterday. And I hope, I hope that no one grabs a $68 or a $91 as I showed you yesterday for 97 miles. You're in the hole, buddy, right? And if, if you are that desperate to take that trip, you are ruining it for all drivers. This is a chance to work together and to break, to bust open their algorithm. And you'll quickly see that this has a very, very, upfront fares will have a very, very short uh, lifespan. Why did they design this? Dara Koshishawi's head was on the chopping block. He had to show, and he is, he's, he has to show numbers, profits this quarter. So he's thinking, just the way this guy does business, he's thinking short term. How can I quickly make a lot of money to save my ass? This is my theory, right? Because I think deep down he knows that this model here with this upfront bullshit, right? You might as well call it upfrontbs.com, right? Is going to fail in the long run because drivers are going to really learn and outsmart and they're going to collaborate. Groups are going to collaborate together. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, Facebook discussions and people are going to start saying, okay, so only say this, say yes to this, say no to this. And we're getting there because this is how we do roll together. And those few little desperates or desperados that really need to take every little dollar, go for it. I, I want to, let's have a conversation in two or three years again, and let's talk about your car costs, right? Your maintenance costs, right? Because it's all short-term thinking. You're not to, to a thinking long-term here. So again, this would probably be, this is an UberX. This would probably be an example, um, you know, of something that would make sense. Short 13 minutes, short miles, decent, works out to 148, right? And I would uh, presume that a lot of people driving an X would take this deal. I also, from the feedback ye yesterday, 99% of you I absolutely would not fall for that con deal, $68, 100 miles, right? Um, uh, one, over one and a half hours, you're talking about a three hour uh, round trip right? So the other thing is you also, um, you know, at the end of the day, if you get, if, if you're on your way home and you're done and you get presented a bit of a, a shitty deal, right? That maybe is looking at 60, 70, 75 cents, but you want to get home and you want to utilize those destination filters, right? You, 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 you could get a little bit more desperate and accept one of these low offers. Why? Because it's going to pretty much throw you in the vicinity of where you're going to end your day. You want to capitalize on that destination filter and you want to monetize that trip back. So the, the, the closer you get to your destination, doesn't matter whether it's 60, 70 cents or a dollar, your day is done and try and take some extra money home. That is the only time I would say, hey, you know what? Settle for a low uh, dollar to mileage or minute rate, right? Um, what factors into this? Some of these, um, some of these deals may be attractive, but you might be stuck in peak traffic time. Yesterday, I, I had a trip at eleven. Uh, forgot that they always shut down the one hundred and one for construction. Shot myself a little bit in the foot. Thought it would be a quick in and out. Took me a long time to get to the airport. Took me a long time to get back. So you need to obviously factor traffic in, the time of day, location, muy importante, super important is the location. Sorry, yes, those cross streets, this is where they, they're trying to fool you, right? Or they're not, they're, oh, we're going to give you the location up front. 
I'm going to give you cross streets. You go figure it out. You don't have time yet. You have one, two, three, and a few seconds to make a decision. So you better know your city inside out. You better know calculations quick, right? And you don't have time to get on a calculator and start. You, you, you got to like quickly be able to work out, does this make sense? Now, if you have a number like 10, it's easy to divide, right? I can uh, just say 1,483 divided by 10. That would give me sense. I put, a, I put my um, separator in there and I can quickly see, okay, in my brain, that's, you know, that's pretty much a dollar 48 right? A dollar 48. And, and, and that's how you have to calculate. So try it out, play around with it. Initial reaction is not good. People are not happy. They're not making money. This is the excuse for Uber to pay you less, right? Because they think that we're stupid enough to accept this new nonsense. We're going to figure this out, folks, very, very quickly. What makes sense? What doesn't make sense, right? But right now, people are like still figuring this out. They, 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 they're taking these trips and Uber is making crazy margins. Where they're making the craziest margins is where I really have to make a follow-up video. I really need to make a video where we connect with the rider, with the passenger and say, you know what? You're also being conned. You're being played with this upfront fare, right? And it is your duty uh, to speak to the ride, uh, to the driver, to find out what is this upfront deal that they got, right? And you will see that it, 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 it's going to work out to 80-20, right? This is what Dara Kosha Shawi said, right? Take rate's going to be about 20. It's going to work out to be about 80-20 in the next six months. A lot of people are going to drop out. This is all short term to drum up some quick cash to save Dara's head. And mark my words, within six months time, this upfront bullshit is gone. It's gone, right? It's gone. So um, your feedback here is super, super important. How do you work out those factors in milliseconds, right? What is your threshold? What are you accepting? How are you doing the quick three-second calculation? That's what I'm interested in. And please be safe.